We grilled chicken. We butterflied chicken. And we made it look just like this. Yep, every day cooking, dad, cooking every day. Welcome in, welcome back. All right, guys, so we're gonna get started with butterflying the chicken leg. Now, I wasn't quite sure what side to use, so I decided to go down on the fattier side so it would open up. So you gotta be careful, don't cut yourself, use a nice knife, sharp knife. So the idea of butterfly and chicken legs, I don't know who started that, but that's a good idea, is that the meat will cook more even, and that means it's gonna cook a little faster. So I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I can be a little put off with a chicken leg. You know, you go in to bite on one side, it's a little bit tighter go on the other side it's a little bit looser and all the tendons are there so i wonder if when we do this because this is my first time butterfly and chicken if that's going to relieve all of that see all the tendons in there we're, we're ripping that apart so it's not going to be able to hold together like a whole chicken leg would it? So just get in there go down the side now i got these chicken legs from costco and it has the knuckle on it, so it's, that's getting in the way a little bit, driving me crazy. But just continue down the side and continue to cut the tendons. So get that all the way down and as flat as possible. See, there you go, nice and flat. All right, and then just go ahead and I, I find that down by the bottom, that's where all the tendons tend to meet. Just get rid of them. All right, so I didn't want to bore you with uh, doing another chicken leg. You guys get the idea. Just go ahead, get in and cut them up. So we're going to go ahead and do some avocado oil, you know, because we're going to be grilling outside. So we want a high temperature oil. So go ahead, get there with your hands and, uh, you know, get that oil everywhere. because it's going to be like a binder. So we're down with Lowry's, garlic powder, salt, and then a little bit of black pepper. And that's it, guys. So we're gonna go ahead, give this a nice little quick mix. Again, using our hands, because you wanna get it everywhere. So once that has a good mix, this is gonna sit while we get our uh, grill going. So let's head outside. All right, so we had a few charcoals left over from our last cook. So we're going down with some more cowboy uh, briquettes. Guys, caught that on sale in Walmart. Two bags for $20, you can't beat that. You know, I grabbed about six of them. Now, now guys, we're going down with our lighter fluid. I know the charcoal purist, the barbecue purist is saying, you can't do that. You don't use lighter fluid. It's going to taste like lighter fluid. It's not going to taste like lighter fluid. Cause we guess what we're going to do. We're going to like this and we're going to let it burn off. Won't taste like guarantee you. It won't taste like lighter fluid. If it does, you're doing something wrong. So let this burn off. And then I got a little trick for you. Grab an old hair dryer, and we're gonna flan the flames. Yeah, we're gonna fan the flames. Now get this good and hot. Get your charcoals up and going. Get that lighter fluid taste out. And guys, we're gonna speed this up instead of just, you know, sitting around waiting. And that's it, guys. This is done. We got lit grill in like 10 minutes and that's just how i do it because i want to eat and we're gonna go down with a couple of apple wood chunks guys because we're gonna actually smoke this just a little bit not like 15 minutes i wouldn't say smoke but we're gonna be closing the grill off and we're gonna be monitoring the temperature you know because we want to cook the chicken legs for like about 15 minutes with the lid closed but before we do that we got to go ahead and get the grill cleaned up so I go ahead and scrape it down, you know, on both sides. And then I hit it with a little bit of uh, avocado oil. You know, avocado oil is, um, you know, has a high temperature. So it can stand up to the grill a little bit, you know, cause we're not taking this, this you know, maybe as high as we're going is, um, you know, 400 degrees or so. So grab a paper towel and just wipe it down. It also helps um, your food to not to stick. And we're cleaning the grill at the same time. All right, so once that's all wiped down, 
you know you might need to use two paper towels or do it twice but you see there our wood is caught our apple wood chunk to court and we're going to close this up now i opened up the top all the way and the bottoms open all the way and watch this thing grow look at it go all right so we're going to give this about 10 minutes or so to come up the temperature and we'll be right back all right guys it's been 10 minutes and our grill's at 325 so now i'm gonna head open this up and it's it's gonna you know the coals are gonna light up a little bit hotter so down we go with our chicken legs now we're not we're doing indirect we're on the side where the coals are not because we just want to get these uh, legs up the temp so they've only been out the refrigerator for about 10 15 minutes now and then we're going to spritz it with apple cider vinegar and hot sauce 50 50 mix just hit it that's another layer of flavor that we're adding and then we're just gonna go ahead and close this off and we'll be back in like about 10 minutes all right so 10 minutes has gone by and we're right at around 173 172 all right, and that's just about where we want to be but I want to tamp it down to try and get this to about 150 or so hey. all right so five minutes have gone by and it's probably been about what 15 minutes in total since we've closed the grill off and we settled in around 337 so our chicken legs are not done yet so we're gonna gonna start grilling so now this is the time to grab your beer and we're gonna start flipping and grilling but first we're gonna hit it again with our apple cider vinegar and hot sauce spritz it up and then we're gonna go ahead and put this top side down on top of the charcoal and hey guys we're just gonna continue to do this we're gonna flip spritz flip spritz until we get these chicken legs to like around a one I like my chicken legs around 185 190 you could even go as high as um you know 200 201 202 because chicken legs are very forgiving chicken thighs too so we flip we turn we spritz we flip we turn we spritz all right guys this is pretty much it grab your beer and we're good all right so we're done this is our last spritz And that's it guys pull them off to the side here and we're gonna go ahead and put down some uh, asparagus just get these charred up real quick let them go out on about three minutes or so on one side all right and now once these have gotten some color on one side give them a little flip to see where you're at all right these are a little bit uh charred so that's just where i want to be i don't want these uh too soft I'm gonna go ahead, pull them over to, to the side here and close it down and let them go for a little bit. All right, so three minutes have gone by and this is what we got guys, we're done. Our asparagus is done. Look at our chicken leg. Guys, it looks juicy, it smells good good and that little bit of apple cider vinegar and um, hot sauce it's another little dimension a little layer of flavor guys this is a good grilling um recipe here you know, get your beer out in front of your fins everybody's watching you grill and spritz and spritz and grill so one last little spritz and then we're gonna go ahead and get everything off the grill and it's time to eat all right, so guys, we're serving this up family style. We got our corn, our asparagus, our chicken. Guys, I will be butterflying chicken in the future. Absolutely 100%. Guys, and it's juicy. I don't think I'm doing justice showing it to you this way. But it came out so good. You know, I would serve this up with some barbecue sauce on the side. You know, because we got our apple cider vinegar and, and hot sauce on this. Guys, this is good. You gotta try it. Fire up your Weber. Everyday 
cooking, dad cooking every single day. Take a look at some of these other videos and let's get cooking.